Hello and welcome to another How to Code Well PHP tutorial. Today we're going to look at the header function of PHP. Uh, now this will alter the HTTP response header. Um, and you can have all sorts of different types of headers in your HTTP response. So the reason why we're looking into this today is that we can actually redirect the user to a different page. So we can redirect the page, we can change the page's location. There's all sorts of other things that we can do with the header function, which I will show as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is actually do a quick HTTP redirect using this header function. So let's just type in header, and then within the parentheses, the first argument is a string, and that string uh, determines what the header is going to do. And in this case, we're going to redirect the user, and we need to have uh, location spelt like this with a colon on the end with a space. So the next thing we do is we actually put in the full path of where we wish to redirect this response to. So we do HTTP www. Uh, this could be anything. So I'm just going to use my blog. So peterfisher.me.uk. Whoops, like that. Save that. And now if we were to open up uh, Safari, it's actually going to this website, the peterfisher.me. Uh, dot uk uh, blog so let's go back to the code let's uh, talk about this in a little bit more detail what's actually happened here well we're actually altering the or we're issuing a new value in the in the http header and there are several headers that we can play with and manipulate um, and we can also override headers and, and so forth. One thing I will definitely mention though is that when using headers like this, you have to ensure that there is nothing actually being already sent to the page. Okay, so there's, the page doesn't have anything uh, already uh, buffered from this. So what you could do is, is just ensure that there's no uh, black lines or there's no um, sort of H1, any kind of HTML things that's already been sent to the page. This won't work. This won't work because um, the, I don't know why I'm pointing to the screen, but this will, um, this won't work simply because uh, the page is already rendering this and so you'll just break it, right? So when you're using headers like this, when you're overriding headers, when you're sending new headers down uh, to the response, um, ensure that it's the first thing that gets set okay so don't have any blank lines don't have any um, uh, HTML output here um, and this can trip a lot of people up especially when this is included uh, as a separate file so you're including uh, this PHP file somewhere else um, we haven't got to include and require and all that stuff yet we'll look at that later on uh, but just ensure that this is one of the first things that gets sent as a response. So don't do a lot of output and then decide on, on where to actually send it to because that won't work. Um, another thing that I would like to mention is ensure that this is, when you're doing a redirect such as this, ensure that there isn't anything coming on after this, any other process coming on after this. So for example, don't have any PHP code going on underneath. Actually don't have anything going on underneath here. What you need to do is actually exit out of this. So in the previous uh, uh, tutorial or so, I was talking about how to exit and terminate the script. So for example, here you should have either the exit um, uh, language construct or the die language construct afterwards, uh, because this is ensuring that nothing else is actually being sent to the page. Okay, so that's, that's um, I'm going to put that back. So that is a, 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 a quick way of, of redirecting the user. Okay, so let's create a new file, and I'm just going to call this redirect underscore check dot PHP. And uh, what I'm going to do is actually uh, control how this gets redirected. Let's have a variable, and we call this location is equal to uh, HTTP uh, www dot my website dot me dot uk like so let's also have redirect is equal to true and then let's put in a control flow so if uh, redirect and because it's just a boolean we can just do if redirect um, and let's uh, put in here uh, header location 
and then let's concat that to the location of where we wish to redirect to. Save, and also what I would would like to do is do an if uh, redirect and and um, is an empty location because you know this these these values could be coming in from somewhere else right so we we want to ensure that we have a location we want to ensure that we have this redirect so we're going to then redirect it to the location and if we were to do an exit here like so we're then killing the script okay so anything under this won't get processed which is what we want to do let's save that and let's just ensure that this works let's load this up and yes we're we're now pushing back to the uh the, this website which is good let's kill that now what we can do is actually change this around because we've actually put it some control flows in here so if that was to f go to false then the code will basically stop here so what we could do is do an else so we could do an else here uh but uh to be honest if um uh if we don't have a redirect and we're not going to go into here so we're not actually going to be able to get to under here so i'm going to just do echo we haven't redirected let's uh, save this and then go into here and we have this message here let's just bring that up a little bit so we haven't redirected um because we have that set to false right so we, and if we were to change that to true and refresh this, then it will redirect back to uh, this website, um, which looks terrible when it's uh, in this size. Let's go back to here. OK, so that is how we can control uh, whether or not we wish to redirect the user to a different uh, location. Uh, where is this useful? Why would we do such a thing? Well. Uh, reverting back to the HTML forms tutorial series that uh, I'm I'm going to pick up once we get through um, some of this PHP stuff. So what we can do is after we've actually validated and you know successfully validated the form, we can then redirect the user to uh, perhaps uh, maybe it was a login form, so we're redirecting the user to uh, to their 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 account, or maybe we're redirecting it to a page which just gives them a thank you message, right? Um, which which you can do um, with this. This, is, this isn't a problem. You could just change the location to um, wherever the website is slash thank you or something like that. Um, and therefore, only people who submit the, the, the form correctly will actually get to that point. Um, obviously, there's other things that you should consider, like sessions and so forth, but whatever. Um, that's not for today. Now, there are other things that we can do with this header function. A lot of people just go, OK, this is just changing the, the redirection. But oh, no, no, no. I'm going to put a link in the description in this video on all the different types of things that you can do with headers, I do advise people who are watching this video to check that out because there are so many things that you can do, especially around things like caching and changing the actual uh, content that you're actually supplying. Let's uh, let's give you an example. So what I'm going to do is sort of represent a file download, a file transfer. And uh, this is pretty useful for if you've got like uh, PDFs that your website needs to uh, allow the users to download, then what you do is you read the contents of that file and then you change the header. So it is a, a say a PDF, the content type is a PDF, and then you send that down the line. Um, now I'm gonna just touch on this, okay? This isn't going to be a full example, if you will, of doing this. Uh, there is other things that you need to consider, but I just want to show you this as a demonstration of what the header function can also do. So we do header, like so, and I believe the the, the, the header key is content uh, type, uh, colon again, and we supply the type of content that we wish to uh, send as a response. And in this case, we do an application forward slash PDF. Okay, so this is going to change the uh, the content from just a normal PHP file to a PDF. The next thing we need to do is actually issue another header, and this one is the content disposition. So let's just uh, put that in here. So it is content uh, disposition, and the value of that is an attachment. So it's 
attachment because we're attaching something to this response. Um, and we need to do, we actually have to give it a file name. Okay, so file name, file name is equal to, and we're just gonna do uh, download, whoops, dot PDF, right? PDF, PDF, like so. Save that. <clears throat> So can you see here that we have two, two headers, the content type, we're changing the response to an application PDF, and the, the, the content disposition is an attachment, and the attachment has a file name called download.pdf. Now, if I've done this correctly, then it's going to down, when I get to this page, it will actually attempt to download a file called download.pdf. Let's uh, do that now. So let's hit this, and it's, uh, can you see that uh, that was trying to open a page and now we've got the file download.pdf could not be open because it's empty. Obviously there isn't a file here to download but but that is a demonstration if you will of changing the uh the the the, the content type that we're actually supplying uh, through this this header. So another thing that I would like to demonstrate is how to actually replace one of these headers. Uh, so you can actually replace a header that was previously set. In here, what we're going to do actually is just for uh, speed is copy that, paste it in here. So what I'm going to do is actually have another redirection here. So let's paste that under here. And the location, we're going to change that to be something else. Let's do uh, YouTube. Uh, dot com forward slash user forward slash how to code well so that's going to go to the to the how to code well uh, youtube channel um, but what do you think is going to happen here because we've got a header redirect here and then we've got another header redirect going on here um, let's find that out let's go on to safari and see where we go well we actually go to the youtube channel um, let's kill that now because it's going to make a noise. So we can actually stop this from happening, right? So we can actually uh, prevent this header from replacing this header. So in the second argument that we can pass is um, a boolean. So here it says replace bull is equal to true, which means that it will replace it. But if we did this to false and save that, uh, and went back into Safari, then it won't actually replace that first header. And so we're still going to uh, the blog here. Um, okay, so another thing that uh, I would like to demonstrate is how to alter the status code. So at the moment, it's just gonna send the normal status code to the page, but we can actually change that, uh, where we can actually define the status code. At the moment, the status code is gonna be the normal default status code, but we can change that. Let's change this to be 404. Okay, so we can see that that, uh, PHP Storm has changed that to be HTTP response code. So let's save that, go into the browser. So can you see we've now got a blank screen? Let's go back to the code. So if you don't know, uh, uh, 404, the status code basically means that the page can't be found, the resource cannot be found. So that's some quick demonstrations of using the header function in PHP, not only to redirect uh, the, the, the re response, but also how to alter the response, how to alter the, the content type, make it into a downloadable file, which is useful when you're downloading PDFs and other things like that. Um, and also uh, stuff that I haven't even mentioned. I mean, this is such a big topic uh, that we can actually change all sorts of things like uh, cash, uh, caching, uh, you know, the expiry on those caches and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm gonna put, as I said, in the description, uh, a bunch of stuff that you should read on what you can set when you're altering the, the headers of this. Uh, but the, the really useful one for the forms tutorial is this one here where we've got um, a, an if statement that determines whether or not um, the page should be re redirected or not. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there, but if you've got any comments, questions, or queries, then please do put them in the comment section uh, below. I'll try and get to them as soon as I can. If you found this video helpful, if you've uh, learned something in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and do share it around to others that might find it useful too. Um, also, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I do a video like this every Tuesday, um, which is just a, a general tutorial on web development. Also, on a Friday, I do a web chat. So this is where I talk about about uh, web development in general. So do please do check those out. I'm going to 
commit this to the the usual how to code well uh, tutorial uh, git repository i'll put a link in this description as well if you want to check the code but thanks ever so much for watching i shall see you again in the next tutorial or the next web chat cheers bye